Hey Pfingsters, in this video I want to answer a question of one of my users, Christine, who asked what is the ROT13, ROAD13 algorithm. This is written like this, we have ROAD13. And it's a very important algorithm and a very basic encryption algorithm and often used. And if you want to to improve your your general computer science skills and uh, learn about this algorithm then just watch the video. So first I want to give a, a quick overview in words and then I will show you a Python one-liner that uh, solves the algorithm in one single line of code. So it's a very simple basic algorithm. The ROAD13 algorithm is a simple encryption algorithm. It is used in many forms, forums, for example Reddit, to prevent spoilers or to hide the semantics of a communication from newbies. So it's, it's not a serious algorithm, but it's still used in many forums today. Um, Road 13 is uh, so simple that it practically provides no security at all. Uh, but it helps you to, find, to un finally understand these insider conversations at Reddit, at least. So and the algorithm can be explained in one sentence. So we have Road 13, which is short for rotate. Rotate string by 13 positions. Um, this is modulo um, 26 because we have 26 characters. So given a string, for example the string a, b, c, we want to encrypt the this, this string uh, using um, the ROT13 algorithm, you, we encrypt the string and then we have this uh, encrypted string and then we also want to decrypt the string. Um, I won't write it, so we, have, we want to decrypt the string again from, from the encrypted string. Yeah, And the nice thing about ROT13 is that we can use this for both. We can use ROT13 for encryption and for decryption. It's very simple. Therefore, if you, if you um, shift the character by 13 positions in the alphabet and then shift it again by 13 positions in the alphabet modulo 26 then we will reach the original character. Okay now let's have a look at the detailed uh, uh, method. So suppose we have uh, now we have this table a b c d and so on until z. So these are our um, characters in the alphabet and now we want to these are kind of the original characters and now we want to find the encrypted characters. Yeah. So in the encrypted algorithms we move A by 13 position in the alphabet which means we reach N. We move B by 13 positions which means that we encrypt it as O and then we move C. We, this would be P and Q and so on until we reach Z which should be the M. Okay and if we um, uh, again, if you if you again, so suppose we want to encrypt a string, then we would use uh, for for we want to encrypt the string z, which means that we would simply use the um, character m. If you want to encrypt so decrypt m again, then we would simply do the same again. So we use m here, which would be at this position somewhere in between, and we check what is the associated string here. Okay, so this is a method of encryption encryption and decryption. So um, yeah, in other words, we want to encrypt the string. You shift each character by certain positions in the alphabet. When shooting over the last character Z, you start over at the first position in the alphabet A. Okay, so now I want to give you a very simple um, simple Python code that does it for you. So we First, first I give you the um, kind of a code that is easy understandable, and then I will give you the one line. Okay, so our uh, road 13 algorithm. Then we have a certain phrase. We define the function it's ABC, and say we have this alphabet. Like I, I just hard code the alphabet now here A B C D E F G, and we have an out phrase. This is our encrypted string. Initially, it's empty. Then we iterate over all characters in our phrase. So we want to encrypt our phrase. Yeah. So we um, have to encrypt each character separately, and we add to our 
final word this the encrypted character and how how do, do we encrypt it basically we use um, simple indexing so we index a certain character which character do we index from our abc we simply find the character here in our um, in our alphabet abc we find the character which we want to encrypt say we encrypt we want to find we want to encrypt a then it would return uh, would uh, give us the position zero so it gives us the position of the character to be encrypted and now we want to shift this by 13 positions yeah so we have plus 13 okay but what happens if we would uh, use z if you would uh, if we wanted to encrypt the character z this would mean that we would find the character z which is at at position 25 in the so it would return the index 25 the abc find function 25 plus 13 is 38 so it's uh, we cannot index the abc with 38 so we have to calculate it modulo so we have to um, kind of if we if we overshoot the maximum possible index here we want to proceed in the uh, at the beginning of the string again yeah which means that we um calculate this modulo 26 okay so if if this part here if our character plus 13 if the shift overshoots then it starts again at index zero yeah so for example um here this character m would be would reside in overshooting so we start with uh index a with index zero again for the character a okay so this is basically it now we can already return the out phrase because we have uh, encrypted every character separately say we have the phrase the russians are coming could be the original enigma encryption and now we print our encrypted phrase so now it's encrypted here you cannot read it anymore and this would be then the reddit encryption for example and what if you uh, if you want to decrypt it then you would simply print you would simply use the word 13 encryption again so if, if you apply it two times then you uh, get the original string again yeah so the russians are coming here okay what if we encrypt uh, phrase two times this is basically what we did in the last example then we get the original string again good okay that's it we can also use a single line of code um, it's very very simple one liner here i give it to you directly um, so basically here this is a, this is a one liner um, we can print it good so it's like this we um we join on the empty string so here we have a list we use list comprehension to generate the list we use our this is the expression of li list comprehension which means that we execute this for every element in the list which elements are selected c in x so x should be the phrase then to be encrypted say it's phrase and uh, so for every character in the phrase we repeat the following we perform our um, we select the character shifted by 13 positions modulo 26 so that we start on the left of the ABC again of the alphabet again okay so and if we do this then it should give us ABC is not defined yeah okay we have to find it here so let's define it for us okay so now I'm this is the output okay so it's uh, definitely it's the same output than before this code does exactly the same than the code above. There's also a package which you can use. You can uh, use the import codex package and then use codex encode. And uh, on the phrase you want to encode and then you simply specify the algorithm rot13. You can also specify other algorithms. So this is definitely the way to go in practice. I just wanted to explain the algorithm to you so that's why I give this one liner solution and also it's beautiful but uh, in general you can simply call the library to to um, solve this algorithm so if you execute it we get exactly the same again uh, we have not printed it of course so 
So now let's print it. Yes, okay, so we have the same output. Okay, if you like the video, then please give me a like and subscribe. I will release a lot of uh, future videos. Um, I already released many uh, videos on my channel, Thingster. And yeah, glad if you like it, then... Okay then, see you soon. Bye.